Hi guys, how are you? Hope you're all doing great. <laughs> this week I'm doing something very common. I'm sure every raid player is doing it. I'm seeing how bad all my Hydra teams are <laughs> post-update. Unless you guys have been living under a rock, in which case kudos for still playing raid and watching YouTube under the rock that you live in. That's dedication. <laughs> um, there are a ton of changes. I will not go over all of them in depth because it's just beating a dead horse at this point. You guys have seen, you know, either read it yourselves or seen a thousand videos on it or posts or whatever your prefer preferred place to get raid news is. But to go through them super, super quickly, um, the heads that just came back up, they now take 100% less damage. Uh, which, you know, that's like zero damage, so <laughs> that's very substantial. Definitely makes a big difference. Um, it doesn't work with the taunt anymore. Decapitation, they now have HP bars, which is a big change because now you can't just be beating on a downed head for many, many turns, you know, and you're so much faster than it because it has decreased speed because, so that's where a lot of the damage was coming for, right? It's just to keep getting off damage off of these downed heads. Digestion mechanic has changed. Um, the turn limit is now 1000 as opposed to 1500, which I know for me, most of my teams, two out of three of my teams do go to the turn limit. So just immediately for me, this is saying all of my teams have 500 less turns or one third less turns than they used to. So that's actually, you know, just immediately I'm assuming I'm going to lose a third of my damage. And I, you know, just, I can tell from like the decapitation thing and the decapitated heads having um, actual health bars where they're just going to immediately come back once you hit that damage camp. Just from that alone, I know I'm losing like so much damage. Uh, shield stuff was nerfed. Trunder herself was changed. Words. So lots of changes. Definitely give it a quick peek or watch a video of your favorite content creator talking about it and how it will affect things if you like. Uh, like I said, I won't bore you with it. <laughs> I know you guys know. So my teams, I do not have a, um, how do you say, I don't have like a, um, it's not a specific strategy, it's literally just like a lot of good champs that I own on a team, it includes Trunda, it includes Nia, but as you can see this is not a Yumeko team, this is not a Taunt team, this is just a lot of champions and also Trunda, you know, I've got Gurptuck increasing the damage. Uh, Nia does have the cooldown reduction, but the thing is, and I know a lot of people feel this way, it's not just me, I will never, ever, you cannot make me, no, I will, ne I will never ever manual a Hydra fight. Yes, all of my teams will, would do a lot more damage if I would manual the fight, including post uh, changes, you know, obviously I could squeeze a lot more damage out of it. But, you know, speaking for a lot of adults in life, I really, really don't have like five hours a week to be manualing three Hydra fights. So personally, don't care if it's not full auto, it doesn't even exist to me. I will never spend the time doing it. Don't have the time. It's not something I want to put the time I do have toward. So that's just giving you the background. This is my old team. This is a full auto score going to the turn limit. This is literally last week, 805 million damage. Uh, it's not those billions, but it's a lot of damage. So I do have my little run for you that I just did a moment ago. So let's see how they did this week. Like I said, it's always going to be full auto because no thank you. <laughs> Usually I run it while I'm in a meeting or working. Those are my Hydra times. So let's see. You know, right now it looks normal. We've already popped some of the heads. That's normal. I have her open with that ability so we could expose a head and then she will hit it with the uh, Cloak of Ages. That's the, the strat. Okay, 
So she does do that. We do go a million to 14, or, you know, immediately to like 14 million. The reason being is because the patch notes do say that you can still overcap the damage on a downed head. So, you know, like even if this had 100k HP or whatever it would be, if you did a million damage to it, it would do the million damage. So there is still that aspect. And that's definitely why, I guess, why manualing your fight has definitely gone up in value. Because if I were to manual this, I could make sure I'm always hitting a downed head and make sure that, you know, that way I'm allowed to overcap this damage. Would have increased my damage by a lot. But again, I'm, I'm just not ever going to do that. So I just ran it full auto. Whatever happens, happens. As you can see, the downed heads do have health bars. That's the new mechanic. And that one, Harma just killed it. Uh, Estra just killed that one. So they're just coming back instantly. They've got their Serpent's Will. They've got the 100% damage reduction. So as you can see already, we're losing a ton of damage because these heads are just coming back instead of just continually getting, getting big damage on them. <clears throat> but again, it's exactly what we expected based on those patch notes. Uh, there's really nothing crazy here. No point in like watching it because it's just this for uh, until the turn limit. So you can see, um, you know, the updates for like a team like this on a on such a low difficulty, like this is just a normal team. This is not going to cause my team to lose. It's still going to go to the turn minute, turn limit, no problem. But as you can see, the damage is very, very low compared to the 800 and whatever million that I had earlier. I, I don't even think we cracked 200 mil. Nope, we didn't. 194.18 turn limit reach, 1k full auto. Trunda, not even 100 mil. Uh, Herndig, 42. Harma, 39. These were the old ones, you know, the 805. Again, it's not billions and billions, but as expected, did take an absolutely massive hit on my damage here. So, uh, again, it's exactly what was expected. I knew off the bat I would be losing at least a third, and then I knew I'd be losing even more just because of the the way that they're stopping you repeatedly getting damaged on the downed heads. What do I think about it? I don't really know. I'm not, I'm definitely not as invested in this game as a lot of people. The balance changes that they make, the monetization that they do, I really, I don't care that deeply. Like, I don't buy things when they make monetization choices that I think are stupid. I just don't I just continue not buying them and move on with my life. Same with the balance changes. Like, I, I don't enjoy Live Arena, so I just ignore that. I don't play it. Uh, Hydra's never been, like, my passion. But I do think they wanted... They said... <laughs> they said they wanted to target the players who are uh, kind of abusing these mechanics and getting these insane scores. But as we can all see... This is going to affect every player, right? Like, it literally just made everybody's fights harder. And I don't think that's okay, because I think, n like, no one plays Hydra, like, as it is. Like, you guys know that, right? Like, this mode is not popular. That's, that's why they're always pushing it. I know so many people who play who literally just don't associate with this mode at all. So I have no idea why they're making it worse and less accessible when it already was quite inaccessible and a lot of people <laughs> don't enjoy playing it. Um, Cause yeah, you know, this is gonna take the the average person who is doing like, I don't know, what are the chests? Okay, so say you just started playing, maybe you can do like five million to normal or something. Even that probably just got a lot harder for you because when you're just starting, like, if you can get a head down, that's such a big deal. And now they're kind of nerfing the fact that it is downed and, yeah. Whole thing is bad, IMO. Uh, all of my teams definitely just got their damage slashed 
I was easily getting this chest. Like I can easily, all my three teams could easily do 1.2 billion damage per week. And now it's actually going to take me multiple weeks because my teams are not terribly, terribly impressive. They're fine, <laughs> but they're not crazy. Uh, so yeah, that did affect me a lot in the rewards department. Meanwhile, anybody who actually does have the crazy teams, they will still do enough damage to m hit this. So I would say I've been affected more than they have been affected. But yeah, overall, I don't know. Will they keep these changes? I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> it definitely seems like everybody... Sorry, I meant to go to news, not shop. So it definitely seems like everybody is super, super unhappy. Again, I'm not unhappy because I just don't have that much emotion about the game, period. But definitely, yeah, all my, t all my teams are doing less damage. I'm going to get less rewards. And that's about the size of it. Um, I just wanted to start with my first team. And as the week goes on and I get some time to do my other mm, teams, I'll let you know how my damage is comparing on those teams. Because like I said, some of them are running to the max. So I know already those ones will do worse. And probably just all of them will do worse. So yay. Yay for doing worse. <laughs> but okay, you guys, thank you for checking out how bad my Hydra team is now. And uh, let me know how bad, <laughs> let me know how bad your Hydra teams are. Okay, you guys, take care of yourselves. Goodbye.